wild time. Peter, pull up the image. It went around. Lots of Brosners sent it to us on Instagram. Lots of my just friends and family members sent it. Oh, a strange yes. creature so sighted, captured on security oh, camera at the Texas Amarillo Zoo. Zoo. Uh-huh. Let's take a look at it. I find it to be very fun. I'm sure Forrest has a, a theory. I have a theory. It was in an enclosure. It was inside an animal enclosure. Oh, so they know what it is. It's been stated what it is. Or no, not. they don't. No, the, oh, they do. the, the Amarillo Police Department asked people to submit their uh, theories as to what it is. They No, they don't know what it is. What do you think? I, I think it's horrifying, first of all. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, you know what? I'm going to go last because I might be right, and then that takes all the fun out of it. So, uh, Dum Dum, why don't you go first? Uh, that's me, Dum Dum. <laughs> this, I mean, this is clearly... A, a fucking human being in like a bear rug or a fox rug thing. It's not even a good one. Look at the legs. I mean, those are white skinny jeans. This could be Pat, honestly. And, and, yeah. You know, the only thing that gives me a tiny bit of pause, <laughs> no pun intended, is that that nose <laughs> and, pause. and that snout, it looks like a cold, wet dog nose right even from afar in the night mode for some reason that very tip of that nose looks like a real animal's nose the rest of it looks comically ridiculous like it's out of a three stooges uh bit wardrobe that's, so that's so my take. Uh, of course my initial inclination is it's a hoax there's you know a person in some sort of silly costume or too a guy but it's too, it's too skinny like his, also, the look how uh, far past the waist the arms go down. Yeah. So I, I'm not – I can't go and with a human. I, I can't do it. Actually, now that you mention that, the shoulders actually – it looks like it does start much lower. But, I mean, that could all just be part of the costume. I mean – but that, the person would have to be so, so skinny. The scale is too weird. It's yeah. like um, – it's like the scale doesn't make sense. Like you can tell that that's only like two or three feet tall. Oh, really? Shit. I, I, I mean, I guess no, not really. I don't know for sure, but that, that's what it looks like to me. Um, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw my, I'm gonna throw my guess in the hat. And here's what I, if Peter, if you're capable of doing this, awesome. If not, no worries. Okay. If you Google image walking gibbon, because I Google image gibbon quickly to see, and it's just like a bunch of pretty pictures. Google image okay. walking Gibbon, G-I-B-B-O-N, and throw that up side by side if you can. I think that the Amarillo Zoo is having a bit of bit of fun with us, and they got a, uh, an image of their Gibbon walking at night and maybe doctored it a hair, and that's what we're looking at. Okay. Keep I mean, it's great, it's, it's, it's great publicity for the zoo. Like, oh, if yeah. the zoo is just like, hey, look, ticket sales are down. We're like in big trouble. People aren't making donations. Like, but well, this is brilliant. I agree. You know, everybody, as our old uh, old producer who worked in uh, internet marketing used to tell us, literally every call he has with a brand, they're like, "Okay, how do we make this go viral?" And they've achieved right. the status of a viral, you know, a viral commercial Straight for up. the Amarillo Zoo. So yeah, you I think they're in know. cahoots on this? I, I think so. That's my guess. I think like four days from now. They come out and go, ha ha, gotcha. This is this is Harry the Gibbon. That one's <laughs> not bad. I feel like there's a skinnier Gibbon somewhere. Yeah, uh, eh, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, yeah, go, yeah, go one over, one over. This one? Yeah. Wait for it. All the brosters can. Oh, come on. <laughs> but do you, are you guys seeing what I'm seeing here? Oh, what about oh, the two? Go. This, there we go. There you go. That's closer. Real right. skinny legs, arms right. hang way down. The head's different. Head's different. Look where the knees are. Are the knee joints are so much lower on the gibbon though? Are they though? Because it's just like it's like a mid stride, like a weird. Yeah, I don't know. Also, what's going on with his like hand? The the cryptid creature. What what's he got in his left hand? Is is he holding a barbecue fork? Is that what I'm saying there? <laughs> <laughs> barbecue tongs. No, yeah. but I mean, if you look at this gibbon's hand. It's doing something weird too. True. True. Could just be a weird sort of position that it's got it like cupped under there. True. Very um, true. It's very strange. I mean, this the is snout kind of matches. 
Let's see if we can find another one. Yeah. The, how's that? You know how's that one, Peter? Like next to the that guy. What's that? What do we one? got out of that? Yeah. I mean, obviously the orientation is very different, but are we getting any more sort of meh, meh. The snout? It, like the snout. The legs and arms match perfectly. Yeah, look, even look at the talons. The fork thing on that other hand looks like a fork thing in this one. It's barbecue tongs. They're all yeah, pairing tongs. barbecue tongs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I, I will I, say this too. Yeah. It, they did only release one frame, right? And right. you would imagine that this is probably from a surveillance video, but the video has not been released. Exactly. So it's probably one of those things where like this frame's super weird because it almost looks like maybe it's turning its head. Right. And there's a little bit of a stutter because it, it kind of right. looks like it's looking towards camera and also looking profile to camera. Agreed. So I wonder if that was like a moment where it turned its head and there's a stutter there. Yeah. I'm it going, is. I'm, it is. Yeah. Oh, go ahead, Peter. Go ahead. No, no. I was just, uh, just going to repeat my, my stance on this. 100% hoax. This is a bear rug slash wolf rug costume. And... Somebody's just using uh, a, a little person is using stilts to create the skinny leg effect, and that's where I'm at on this. <laughs> so yeah, there there are so, a couple so, news so sources that the, are okay that are saying that that the Amarillo, Amarillo Zoo is purposely pulling the hoax. It's got to be. I mean, yeah. you can't blame them. Everybody's talking about it. I've seen it floating around. It's <laughs> it's a big deal. I mean, it's true. If well, let's put it this way, let's put it this way. All right. And I like to think that as far as TV goes, we're pretty goddamn honest. If I caught that trail cam, that shot on a trail cam, let's say we're doing the Mill- Miller's Grizzled Langer episode, and I caught that shot, I would 100% act out on that shot so that everybody yes. was like, oh, my God. And then when the show came back in for the next act, we'd show the next photo and explain what it was. But I would leave a cliffhanger on that shot 100% and keep people like, oh, my God, what is it? Yeah. Why, why, why yeah. wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. It's... And, and it's great because, you know, this is the same reason why I like UFOs and, and all of that kind of stuff is because it, it, it always leaves it open for this air of mystery that's potentially real. There's no way right. to disprove this. I mean, maybe, but it will always be speculated on unless the truth comes out. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, for sure. So, you know, that, that's genius marketing. We should do something like that with our <laughs> brand. Wild time. So if you want more behind the scenes stuff, stuff that we cannot show on YouTube, Darwin Awards, video breakdowns and reviews, check out the Patreon. It's full of hours and hours of incredible exclusive content, stuff that you guys are going to love. Swipe up, click the link, do the thing, come and hang out on Patreon. See you guys there.